guys, do it at a time here. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean your cheap jewelry that you don't wanna throw away. And by cheap jewelry, I mean basically like Target jewelry, Walmart jewelry, things that aren't real silver and gold that you buy on the super cheap for like 15 bucks and then they kinda get, you know, like rusty and ucky after a while. The earrings that I'm wearing right now, these came from Target and honestly, they're probably like 10 years old, but they look brand new. And you guys know how these get after a while since they're not real silver. So this is a super easy method that you guys can use. You have all of these ingredients and things already at home. So let's get cleaning. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Hopefully this is picking up on camera, but this is what kind of tarnished cheap jewelry looks like, right? It kind of gets those like little black spots on it. It almost looks like a little bit yellowy color. That especially happens to the hoop earrings. I'm showing you guys these bigger pieces because I feel like it will pick up on the camera better. But also those little stud earrings do the exact same thing, especially on the sides if you've ever worn them in the shower for more than one use or something like that. So here's what you need to clean them. The first thing is toothpaste and any type of toothpaste will do. It doesn't really matter at all. And the next thing that you need is a super cheap toothbrush. I just got this one at the dollar store. You can just have your typical cleaning toothbrush that you use. And you also need some sort of rag because you want to make sure to dry the jewelry off right away. So the first thing that you want to do is take a little bit of toothpaste, just like you're going to brush your teeth and put it right on the toothbrush. Put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bowl and then grab your jewelry piece and start scrubbing. Sometimes I like to do this in the palm of my hand and sometimes I like to do this in the bottom of the bowl. It really just depends on the type of jewelry. And you wanna give it a good vigorous scrub for about 30 seconds or so and make sure to get both sides, especially if it's a very intricate piece of jewelry. For things like hoop earrings, I tend to use the palm of my hand just because I feel like I can get the surface area a little bit better. And as soon as you're done, you want to rinse them off and dry them. And as you can see, this thing is like brand new. It's really shiny, really pretty, and it's going to look great. For some of the smaller pieces, I like to do this by actually just taking the little stud and wiping it on the inside of the toothbrush and vigorously rubbing back and forth for about 30 seconds or so. And I do that for each individual earring. And it kind of takes a little while. This probably took me like five minutes or so, but it's worth it. And then you just want to rinse them off in the bottom of the bowl and then dump them out onto your rag and dry them right away. That's going to be the key so you don't get any water spots. So I'm just patting it dry here and as you guys can see these jewelry jewelry pieces look amazing. They are very shiny, they look great even though they're super cheap. And then I kind of line them up make sure I have everything and pat them dry once more. Yay! Clean jewelry!